Good day team, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at controlling our computer screen when we move our chair to turn on as well as provide us a backlight behind our monitor for ambient lighting. So what we need to do is have a couple of devices added. So in the description below, we're going to ensure we've got a Zigbee RBGW light. <coughs> That's going to connect to a RGBW LED strip and we'll be using a vibration sensor. To control our screen, down below in the description is my previous tutorial, how to install and configure HAS agent. And it will show you how to install and configure our controls for our computer so for the automation side let's go to home assistant settings automations click automations and let's create a new one so for our trigger it's going to be a state and the entity is going to be the vibration sense center uh, vibration sensor So we'll be triggering that the sensor of the vibration, it goes from, um, from clear to detected. We won't be using any conditions and we'll be adding an action. So the action we're going to be doing is controlling the device. The first device will be to turn on the RGBW. And the action will be turn on. And the second action will be to turn the screen on. So let's click add action. Let's click on device. The device will be the PC and is going to press the wake up button and then we click save. For the second automation will be to turn the screen off. So let's go create automation, create new automation. And we're going to be setting up the trigger to be the, uh, the chair vibration sensor as well. So it is a device. Chair vibration. And the trigger will be when the vibration has stopped being detected. And I'm going to set it to 30 minutes. The actions we're going to be providing is to turn off the RGBW backlight. So that is also a device entity. And the action will be turn off. The second action is going to take is to turn off the screen or put into sleep mode. So let's click on add action and add a device, find our computer and the action will be press the sleep monitor button. So this will mean that when the chair has not been moved for 30 minutes, it's going to turn off our backlight as well as turn off our screen. So let's click on save. And you should see two um, automations. So let's test them out now. So on the screen, we'll first be testing the turn off followed by turn on.
Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you're working on at home with what automations. If you've got any similar projects, let me know in your in the comments below what you want to see in the next video. And I'll see you next time.